Great. Um, does anyone in the crowd have a question? It must be someone. Yes. I was wondering, I, I was wondering when did you know it was the time to leave the corporate world that something pushed you over the edge? Sure. Or did you just like one day wake up and <clears throat> make that decision? And what was your journey like to make that jump? At Audi, one of the things you had to do um, in order to pass the next stage was you had to fire someone. Um, it didn't matter whether anybody had done anything wrong, you just had to fire somebody. Um, and I um, really, I unfortunately, obviously had to do that in, uh, and it's been my own company. It's obviously not anything that you would ever enjoy doing, but I think particularly when you just have to pick somebody. Um, and so this, I really remember, and it was really awful. This person, and he, he was an old gentleman who moved over from Turkey where he'd been like living for 10 years. And um, yeah, he'd, he'd only been at Audi for a little while and he was working as a store assistant and um, he didn't want to shave off his moustache and you can't have any facial hair when you're working with the food. And so we'd have been having this ongoing conversation and he wasn't improving in other elements. And I remember on the day that I decided that this was the person that I was going to fire, he'd come in and he'd shaved <laughs> completely. <laughs> and um, and I, I had, still had to go through with it. And um, it was really horrible. And I really obviously didn't enjoy it. And especially as this person, I think like the shaving of the face just represented it even more. Um, and I remember thinking then like, I've learned a way that a company that has done incredibly well, if you know anything about Audi's background, like kudos to how they've built it up and that everything runs on being efficient, um, which is useful to know now. Um, but yeah, I, I, I basically learned how to do it their way and I think there is another way. And I think if there were companies that are working like this and this is how they are treating their employees, um, then actually there's the best way that you can teach them. So for me, that was my, my eye-opener. And, uh, I mean, for me, it was, uh, I actually didn't want to take that big risk. I went to my boss and I asked whether I can have a sabbatical, kind of like because when I had this idea of quitting, I didn't exactly like those guys. I didn't know exactly what I want to do. I just know that I want to go somewhere else. I want to maybe travel to find something else. And uh, because we were working on the Windows campaign at the time, kind of Windows 10 launch, and uh, he didn't, I mean, the, the big boss didn't grant me. And uh, I was managed kind of like uh, to basically finish the project. And uh, I'm like, I really need to do this. I finished the project and then I left. It was, uh, so I don't know, I think if you have some other ways and if you would you were not sure take a sabbatical kind of like ask for something some of my friends they actually ask their boss whether they can go part-time that they have more time so I think uh, there's options is uh, if you are really want to do it just uh, talk to your boss and see whether you can find some alternatives yeah you will get every different story anyway under the sun uh, some people who knew from day one and left on day two and some people who stayed 15 years and then they got fired or it, there's everything um i think if you ask the question you already know that at some point you want to go uh the question is just how quickly do you do it and again for some people it's like it works for their drivers, it works for their values, they don't have responsibilities or whatever, so they can just like quit and let's see, right? Tomorrow morning I wake up and I'll do something else and I don't have, a, there's no risk. For other people, it's like you're going to create like a decent plan because of different things you value, different things that matter to you in your life. That's the smarter, wiser way to do it for, for this specific person. It might take six months or two years or... So I think it's not so much that you will wake up one morning or something will happen inevitably in the company that will make you go over the edge but it's more over a number of days of accumulated frustration and accumulated discomfort of like this is not where i want to be or there is something else there that i really aspire to do and um, you start to develop that awareness that you're just okay at some point i got to do something about it instead of just staying here and then knowing yourself enough to be wise in the way you structured that transition. Do you need to phase out and phase in? Do you need to transform your role or do you need to stop and start something new? There's the three ways basically. And it's different for everybody. So, but I think to some degree, the, it's almost like the, if I was to use my example in this case, the point of discomfort has to be big enough. For me, it was so, frustrating. I, I felt I was wasting my life 
that it was just an evidence. It still took 18 months for me to leave because I retrained, I, I was using the money to buy courses, to train myself in NLP coaching, hypnotherapy, all sorts of things. I was like bulimic of, I was getting the meaning elsewhere, but my job was helping me because it was funding this quest of like meeting people, finding mentors, discovering what exists out there because I'm in the bubble of Canary Wharf. I have no idea what, what even startup world is about. So that's what I'm saying. It doesn't have to be one day to the next, but if you know there's something that's, that's calling you, just start the process. Start slowly by going to events and, and do more of that. Talk to people and it will happen in the time that it's supposed to happen for you. You've all, all written a quit. It's just when. You've, you've already done it. The reason you're here, you're spending time listening to us, uh, is because you've already made that decision. Um, my particular one was because I hired two people and I probably should have been there to explain what my idea was on the first day that they turned up. So there's that. <laughs>